add button. Okay, everybody should be in gallery view. My phone on silent. All right, so Atitu, Atila Hai, Tungasugi, Tungahugi. Welcome everyone to Makita Tiatuk Wednesday. So today's Wednesday, today is all about the core. So that's all the way around the back. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the lower back. So last week we did a pretty intensive core circuit, focusing on our abdominal muscles. Today, we're gonna to do the same thing, but for our lower back. So we're gonna start with a warm up, a workout, getting into that cool down, like always. Uh, thank you to everyone who's watching at home, wherever you are. Thank you to Brian and Paige from the Toronto Inuit Association, who's gonna be joining me today for this workout. And uh, thank you to Sport Canada and Canadian Heritage for sponsoring a Yungatut and Makitas Yatuk, of course, meaning uh, to be independent and uh, see no barriers. So that's what we're doing today, working out, getting over those barriers. The biggest hurdle, of course, for some of us here, you know, uh, being inactive during COVID. Uh, but <clears throat> anyways, uh, before we get into it, though, uh, Paige <laughs> has uh, something to say, uh, and then we'll get into it. Yay, awesome. So as you may know, Imaginative started last night with their opening night of short films. And um, it's a little bit different this year doing it online, but we're really excited to see a lot of films. There are a few short films by Inuit and also a feature film from a Greenlandic Inuk. So we are giving away five community passes for Inuit in Toronto. Um, yay. <laughs> This will be at the end, so you'll have to tune in. We'll just ask you a question and, and the first five people to answer the question will get some tickets. So yeah, stay tuned. End of the workout in about half an hour, maybe a little longer. So woohoo, thanks. I'll give it back to you, Wakwa. All right. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll keep it, we'll keep it short. I won't add on another set. <laughs> five. Um, so yeah, so for the first thing that we're gonna work out, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to start with some uh, glute thrusts. So we're going to get into that bridging position, pushing up with our lower back and clenching our lower back and our glutes. So we're just going to be doing this movement 20 times. So from the side, of course, getting into that sit-up position where you can lift your lower back, just lifting, tightening, and lowering. So we can do this 20 times, just lifting up with the hips, bracing that lower back, If you have to, you can bring your heels closer to your butt and you'll start to feel that extra push. So this is great just to start warming up the lower back and getting it ready for the next exercises that we're gonna be doing. And again, go at your own state, uh, at your own, <laughs> at your own speed. <laughs> Alice said space, pace and speed. <laughs> Right when we hit 20. Just like so, we're gonna move into our toe to hand uh, warm up. So, this is an interesting one that I found. <clears throat> and essentially, we're gonna be laying down on our backs. Arms are gonna be out to our side, parallel with our shoulders, straight ahead. We're gonna bring up our opposite leg and trying to touch it with our hands. So of course we won't be able to, it's a large stretch, but just to give you that idea of where we're bringing that leg. So just bringing the leg over to the opposite side, like so. And again, we're gonna be doing that 20 times, 10 on each side. So it's a great movement to open up that lower back, keeping our shoulders flat on the mat or the ground Again, bringing that foot over to the other side. So this is great and it's a really good core involved workout as well. Our warm up, I should say. You know, we're really using the obliques here as well as the lower back to bring up the leg and bring it over. So. If you can, try to keep those legs straight. Doesn't make it that much harder. And it makes it a great warm up. Again, just 10 on each side. If 
Again, going at your own speed, at your own pace. Ooh. After 20, 10 on each side, you're gonna feel that just on the opposite sides of your lower back, on the sides of your spine. So again, great warm up. <clears throat> the second thing that we're gonna do are some, <laughs> some mermaids or mermans, merthems. And we're going to essentially get into a, <laughs> oh boy. So <clears throat> we're going to be starting in a almost oblique crunch position. And we're going to be bringing the knees over, knees back, knees over, and knees back. So again, we're twisting that spine, keeping our obliques, our sides against the mat. So you're really going to feel that tightness just between the ribs and the lower back. So we're doing 10 on each side and then we're gonna switch. Once we hit 10, switching over and same thing. Again, into that model position, feet flat, knees up, bring it down to the side, back up. So again, really feeling that for myself in the lower back and in the obliques again. It helps too if you really push those knees behind, bring them forward. So again, working out that lower abdominal muscle and the lower back and the obliques. So after those, our last warm up, we're gonna do some bird dog. So, of course, personal favorite of mine, really good stuff for stabilizing the lower back, growing those muscles. So, as we've done before, we're gonna really square those hips. Knees are parallel with the hips, straight down. Same thing with my arms and my shoulders. And lifting up, opposite limbs, and back down. You can have your legs straight or you can curve it like that scorpion pose. Both are great. Personally, I recommend the scorpion just because it really gives that extra glute workout for free. But same thing, just doing 10 each side or 20 total. So, oh, already feeling that in the lower back. <laughs> Certainly, of course, when we're using that front movement, we're also lifting with our delts, our shoulders, lifting those arms up. So great all-purpose back workout. Whew. So after that warm up, we're going to start our workout. So the first thing that we're gonna do is a Superman heel touch. So we've done the same thing with our abdominal muscles. Now we're gonna lift our chest off of the mat and we're gonna reach back. So we're gonna lift, one, two, back down, lift, one, two. So that's gonna be great for our lower back to get that lifting as well as that side to side motion. We're gonna do a V-sit hold followed by some, uh, some rowing and some dumbbell lifts, so some deadlifts. Uh, we'll get into those a little bit later. So if you do have some weights, I recommend them, uh, but they're not necessary. <clears throat> so wait till uh, we're all in that position here. Good time to have some water, actually. And okay, so starting with those reverse Superman. So we're going to get down into that on the stomach position, lifting our lower back up as well as our legs, one side, other side, back down. So we're gonna do that 10 times. Up, right, left, down, up, right, left, down. 
And again, really trying to incorporate those obliques. And you're really gonna to start to feel that in that lower back. It may help to keep your arms by your head and doing one at each time. So great first part of the workout. You should really be feeling that in the lower back as well as the mid to upper back just below the shoulder blades. After that, we're gonna do a V-sit, holding for 30 seconds if you can. So coming up, again, in the V position, and we're gonna hold 30 seconds, trying to push our chest up, keep that back straight, really gonna feel that leaning back, 30 seconds. Got my eye on the clock. <laughs> so again, you're gonna really feel that in the core, really feel that in the lower back. Gone through 15 seconds so far. Five more. Whew. Whew. Great job. So that 30 second V-sit, feeling that in the lower back, lower abdominal muscles, great stuff. So now we're gonna start getting into that weightlifting portion. So for myself, we're gonna be doing some oppositional toe reaches. What I like to do is I like to grab a dumbbell down to one side, back up that side, switching hands, back down one side, up one side, switching hands, down one side, and you get the picture. So really great for the lower back, because of course we're not used to lifting in these side to side manners, but it does a really great job for that lower back. So once you've done 10 on each side, we're gonna get into our next part of the workout, which follows that same line of thinking. So of course, as you're coming up, stretching that back out, switching sides, just like so. Go at the, be at the pace that best suits you. You know, you really don't wanna pull any lower back muscles. Whew. Just about finishing up here. Whew. And just like that. So feeling pretty good in the lower back again. Now we're working on those both sides of that spine, tightening everything up. The final part that we're gonna do are some deadlifts. So if you don't have weights, you just have to follow that same movement. Again, like always, if you are not using weights and if you find that it's too easy, double or triple the movements and add some holds in there. So if that Superman was too easy, you can hold it for a little bit longer. Or if those dumbbell snatches were too easy, you can go down, hold, come back up, hold, down and hold, and do more. <clears throat> Otherwise, getting into these deadlifts, again, using these dumbbells for myself, I'm coming down forward. Dumbbells are touching just over my toes. So my toes are through the dumbbells. Lifting up, bracing that core, pushing out the core, and back down. So we're doing this 10 times. Always pushing out that core. And you'll certainly feel this workout. So I'm already feeling it. Reminds me of those gym days. And again, lifting up with that back. You can add a slight bend to your knees just as a safety measure. 
making it a little bit easier on that lower back. Oh boy, after 10, we're gonna take that rest. So, good job everybody. I'm gonna mark that one in. <laughs> oh, so, good stuff. Um, if you're already noticing, I've got some, uh, definitely some tightness and some warming up muscles in my lower back. So, all that stuff is feeling pretty good, feeling tight, which is great during these workouts, that's what you want. That's how you know that you're hitting those back muscles. So, resting here for 30 seconds. Um, Can course. I ask a question? Yeah, of course, sorry. Yeah, there was a question on the Facebook Live. Um, Desiree is wondering about your fitness background. She says what? you're good. <laughs> like, teaching-wise, sports-wise. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, well, I played so I played, uh, uh, well, I played a lot of sports when I was younger, uh, but when I got into high school, I was really into football, uh, rugby, sports like that. So I played pretty heavily through my junior years in high school. Um, after that, I wanted to branch out and get into boxing. So I found a boxing gym, uh, which is called the Cabbage Town Youth Center. So I went into that boxing gym, boxed there for a while. Uh, that was my, that was the peak of my fitness. I love that stuff, uh, cardio, jump roping, uh, ladder running. Uh, you know, punching drills, all upper body, lower body cardio based. I've done Taekwondo <laughs> for a long time. And the favorite one that I have to shout out is Okichita. So that's the Plains Cree indigenous warrior style exercises. Amazing, great stuff uh, that can be found at the Native Canadian Center of Toronto, the NCCT at Spadina Station. Great stuff. Uh, totally recommend that. Um, and, I, and I just work out for fun. <laughs> And yeah, so that, that was a long bio, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and disagree and suggest that your your peak fitness is still yet. To that's, <laughs> that's rude, <laughs> but yes, yes, absolutely. You know, 22, living the dream. All right, uh, <laughs> so uh, let's get back into those uh, Superman workouts. So same thing, we're gonna clench that lower back. Lifting up, one side, other side, down, up, one side, just like so. So we're really gonna feel these lower back whew, workouts, even Superman's without any weight are extremely great for the lower back, as well as spinal, and hip rehabilitation, I should say, so I've heard. <laughs> Certainly not an expert in rehabilitation. <sighs> so after 10 of those, getting into that V-set hold, <sighs> same thing. Find it best to start laying down and then come up and begin that hold. Trying to keep everything straight. Balancing on that hip. Ten seconds, twenty seconds to go. Whew. Whew, Fifteen. Whew. Five more. <laughs> There we go. Good job, everybody. Feeling that in the lower back. So same thing. We're going to jump into those opposite toe reaches. I'm using a dumbbell. So this is also known as a snatch, dumbbell snatch. But we're just taking it slow, working out that lower back. So 10 on each side. Ooh. 
God, these ones are so good <laughs> for the lower back. Ooh. Holy. So, after 10 on each side, 20 total, finishing off with 10 deadlifts. So, of course, these are dumbbell deadlifts. So, modifying them a bit in that we're not using a barbell. Still the same effect on the lower back. Whew. Again, doing 10. Whew. Holy. Again, really lifting with the lower back. Yeah. Man, that workout is getting me. I'm over here like, holy geez, you know, like. <laughs> I don't want my rest set to come out while I'm doing these workouts. <laughs> I think I finally turned a corner in terms of my V-sits. It's just like, I'm either here or I'm here. Like there's no balancing there. It's like, I've got to get to the right flat part of my hips. Otherwise, it's just like, Ugh. yeah. Ugh. <laughs> That's what we gotta we gotta do some squats in preparation of the V sits. It helps if you don't have a bannock booty. <laughs> it's a lot easier when there's more to sit on. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. A bannock booty. <laughs> oh, that's great. <clears throat> All right, better, better mark that one. Whew. So. Feeling pretty good. Gotta say, an intense lower back workout. So, of course, if you need to rest longer, totally take that opportunity to do so. I recommend water as well, especially now I'm starting to burn up sweat. So, about another five seconds here, and we'll, uh, we'll jump back into that workout. Whew. Good time, maybe the also check Facebook. <laughs> okay, so getting into those lower back. Workout again, same thing. Getting into that Superman position, lifting up one side to the other and down and up again. Same thing, getting into those V-sits. Again, lifting up, trying to keep that. Whew. Legs straight, lower back straight. Really tap into that, that willpower. Just five more seconds left. Okay. Good job, everybody. Whew. After that, same thing. Dumbbell snatches or toe reaches. One side, down the other. Now again, if you don't have dumbbells or any weights, just coming down each side of the leg, touching the toes, wherever you're most comfortable. Easy way to do the workout. Whew. 
Wow. <laughs> All right. Just gonna knock these last four. Whew. Now into those deadlifts. Again, just doing 10. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Man, I am so tired after that. But feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> Ooh, so, huh. if uh, the V sits at any point do feel difficult, you're more than welcome to use a chair, something that you can really sit on and you can brace holding onto something, leaning back, and you can actually just lift with your lower back, lifting those knees. It's important though when you're doing that to actually bend back, bend that back, and then lift with the knees and you'll get that same lower back lifting exercise. Whew. If you don't want to <laughs> do those V-ups. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. I'm feeling it all throughout the lower back. <laughs> certainly feeling it. Whew. Well, that's certainly been probably a, a good enough rest. We'll give it another five seconds, mostly for me. <laughs> oh, okay. Getting back into that Superman position. Again, lifting up, going down the sides. So those pieces, same thing, laying back, lifting up, and again, trying to brace that core, holding that lower back up. 25 more seconds. Certainly feels like eternity, <laughs> but it's great. Great for those lower back stabilizing muscles. Great stuff for the core. Five more seconds. And good job. Oh, now getting into those same thing. Dumbbell snatches, going down one side, back up and down the other. Again, this is a really good workout for strengthening that lower back. What's also great about the lower back is that if you want to focus on toning or you know, uh, loosening the fat deposits in the back, you can do these exercises with lighter weights and more frequently to reach that result. So very versatile workout. I may or may not have ripped a couple of these from the Arctic Winter Games 
training, <laughs> but it's great exercises to warm you up Whew. to the airplane competition in the Arctic Winter Games. So doing a lot of these lower back exercises, really great stuff. Whew. Jumping back into those deadlifts, coming down, back up, down, back up. In terms of breathing, if you really need help on some of these reps, you're gonna be inhaling as you reach the floor, exhaling, coming up. Coinciding with that explosive movement, just like so. Woo. All right. So, certainly sweaty. It's a good time to get some more water. I'll be right back. Woo. Should we do the giveaway now? Yeah, okay. Um, so I think, we so we have five tickets. Thank you so much, Imaginative. Um, it's the world's largest indigenous film and screen content festival in the world. Um, so we have five community passes. It works a little differently now um, that it's online, but they still have so much great content and also like artist talks they have a talk with Zacharias Kinook, um, or yeah, Zacharias Kinook next Sunday. Um, when you get the code, you have 48 hours to watch a film. So say like last night, I think the opening was at like seven or something. So you have until seven on Thursday to watch it. So I'm gonna ask a question just so that we can get people writing in the comments. And I think the question will be, what is your favorite thing about fall, about the autumn? So the first five people to comment, we uh, that are Inuit, <laughs> um, we will send you a message with a code. Are we ready? <laughs> ready, set, go. So, what is your favorite thing about fall? Let's see, um, Makwa, what's your favorite thing about fall? Oh man, uh, ooh, uh, uh, probably the crunchy leaves or Halloween. I mean, you know. Amazing. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Brian? Just having one growing up in Labrador, like fall was a week. Uh, it was just like the week that you did the raking. Um, <laughs> here, like it's, it finally cools off a bit from like the 35 degree summers that we have. So it's, it's really nice. It's nice to wear something that isn't shorts and a t-shirt again. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Everyone else calls it sweater season. I just think of it as like pants season. <laughs> I mean, I still wear shorts sometimes too, um, <laughs> till it's too, too cold. Um, I would say my favorite part is all the, all the fall colors. I love taking photos for Instagram. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll give people a few. Well, I guess we can do the cool down now and uh, people can comment while we're doing the cool down. Is it the cool down or do we have another round? What? Uh, we, we do have another round, but we don't have to do that other round. <laughs> okay, well, let's do the other round. Okay. Might well, as well. <laughs> I have my fingers crossed, but all right. All right, so getting back into that Superman position. All right. My back is gonna feel like a noodle Ooh, after this. Ooh. Ooh. 
After that, getting into those V-sits. <clears throat> Same thing. Into that laying down position into the V. Woo. Oh no, I'm having balancing issues now. <laughs> I'm like wearing off to the right. Oh no. So again, bracing that core. About 15 seconds left. Well, 15 seconds now, I should say. Ooh. Ooh. Really bracing that core, feeling that lower back. Five more seconds. Ooh. Okay. Good stuff. Now into those toe reaches or dumbbell snatches. Ten on each side. Ooh, wow. Woo Chile, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> it's child. Woo child. <laughs> Not Chile. <laughs> Ooh, all right, you ready? Whew. Getting into this. Oh, man. Deadlift. Ooh. All right. Oh, well, great stuff. <laughs> My back is feeling super, super loose. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, good job, everybody, for getting through that circuit. We've really done 50 of all of those exercises including two and a half minutes of that V-sit. So really, really good stuff. Oh. Oh. Now we're gonna be getting into that cool down very shortly. Get my weights out of the way. And so just to begin, we're gonna be doing that leg over leg crossover stretch. So. For myself, showing quickly what that looks like. We're going to be taking our opposite leg, bring it over, across the body, arms extended out to the side, and we're really trying to turn our spine this way and turn our legs this way. So looking and pulling in the opposite direction, 15 seconds each side. After that, switching sides. Again, 15 seconds each side. Really stretching out that lower back. Getting that leg over to the side. And of course, looking the opposite direction helps. It also makes for a very weird Zoom meeting. <laughs> After that, we're going to get into a sumo, sumo leg stance plank. So a jumbled mouthful, but essentially we're just going to be getting into that plank position. We're going to be widening out our legs like so. 
and we're gonna get down. I know it looks weird, but we're curving that spine. Again, sticking your butt in the air, hips in the air. And again, you're really gonna feel that lower back stretch. Lower back stretch, so. We call this a uh, frog stretch. Frog stretch, there you go, yeah. yeah. I, Google revealed other things, you know? <laughs> but they, <laughs> this is what we got. So yeah, the frog stretch, looking like a frog. Eight seconds. So just a reminder, folks, the first five people to comment, the first five Inuit to comment what your favorite thing is about fall, we can send you a festival pass for Imaginative. Woo! Thanks, Imaginative. <laughs> <laughs> so after uh, 30 seconds of uh, frog stretch we're gonna move into a this one i actually know i hope i know is, is the baby stretch i remember something about a baby but either way you're gonna be laying on your back you're gonna be bringing pulling by your your hamstrings or underneath your knee pulling back the knees into the chest while also lifting the back up. So pulling the knees in, lifting the shoulder blades up. 30 seconds. It's a great stretch for the lower back, curving that spine. <laughs> Gotta say a lot of awkward looking stretches today, but pulling through it. Ten more seconds here. So I'm really feeling it in the lower back now, stretching out that lower back, just on the sides of that tailbone. And there we go. After ten seconds, thirty seconds total, releasing. So, last part of the stretch, final one that we're going to do is we're going to do a as always, usually with the lower back, sun salutations, except this time we're gonna add a curve to it. So we're gonna keep that lower back straight and we're gonna curve the upper body, 15 seconds to one side, 15 seconds to the other. So you're really gonna feel that pinch. For me, it's on my lower left side. We're gonna feel it on the left and right side, doing the stretch. So I'm feeling it. Feels like I'm pinching just that lower left muscle. Five more seconds. And we're gonna move that to the other side. Again, until you feel that stretch. Whew. 15 seconds on both sides. Oh. Okay, so after <laughs> 15 seconds, both sides, we're gonna finish off that workout. <clears throat> Oh, so I'm feeling pretty good. Of course, if you want additional stretches, totally recommend doing a toe reach, trying to curve that lower back in, trying to bring the chest to your knees. That stretch is great for the lower back. What's going on, Brian? Well, nobody said uh, stretching is supposed to be graceful. I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I could hear the screenshots while we were doing those stretches, but that, that might just be my own paranoia. Um, yeah, and my side view, my whole, my whole midsection dude is just ruined. <laughs> it's great. I'm feeling it like right now. I don't know if anybody else is feeling this, but every time I, I sort of curve that spine back, it's like it's forcing me to have good posture, <laughs> like, like the muscles are just sliding into place. Oh, so, um, this was a great lower back workout, certainly great stuff for the core, feeling it all around the lower back midsection, as Brian said, feeling great. Um, again, 
we're still uh, still waiting on some uh, on some fall reviews. So uh, again, first uh, five people to comment, and uh, we can we can some uh, imaginative <laughs> imaginative tickets. Holy. Okay, well, we should queue up. I think Paige is going to open it up to Instagram as well, if she hasn't already. So awesome. keep an eye on it, folks, and uh, let's get to Imaginative. Support our, our cousins. Nakamik. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.